Schools in Japan take a five-week summer break, but students go home with a heavy load of compulsory homework. These two brothers, Kenta and Yota, go to a special summer school where they get help with their compulsory homework in languages, maths and science. I think I like the Japanese education system because during summer break I can catch up in the subjects I have difficulty with along with the rest of the students. Kenta also goes to sports club and other activities. The Japanese system encourages all spare time to be spent in formal activities rather than just relaxing. In the case of maths, we have 90 pages. This also has to be done before summer ends. In regular classes, the most difficult subject is maths. If I work a bit every day, I'll finish my homework before summer ends. Kenta wants to become a computer programmer. The idea of not letting time go to waste is central to Japanese culture, and Kenta's mother approves of the system. She thinks her children will still have enough time to play and that learning opens new horizons. Having a lot of options during the holidays is very good. I want my children to have a wide choice, develop skills and never stop being eager to learn more. But is education just about learning? Or is it also about developing each child's full potential? Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.